Hey, hey! It's Monday fun day! I know, I get so excited. I've always gone when I get excited. I think right after I had my first child, I went, okay, no, I didn't. That was a whole lie right there. All right, let's see. I've been a little busy. Don't be impressed. First of all, let's talk about the hair. I have um, channeled that little dentist on Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Yeah, with the swirl. Hey, Pinky. So, the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer dentist, he has this swirl right here. Yeah, that's what I'm channeling today. Okay, um, I didn't even check my teeth to see if I have cereal in them, because that's what I had for supper. <laughs> I had to eat something fast, y'all. So, I want to tell you this. There is some Christmas theme tonight. And, hey, hey, there is a Christmas theme tonight, but it's so interchangeable with anything else. True story. I would not woof you. I do have to fix something. Hold. Please hold. Okay. There is something about having a bathroom in my studio that is going to be... It's just going to be a thing. Hey, Angela. I'm so happy to see y'all here. Um, but no, this bathroom over here, Angela knows where it is. I think Pinky knows. Pinky, have you been here? I think you came. I'm trying to remember. Anyway, the bathroom in the studio. Now, the water was running in it. I mean, before it had a little three-year-old, or maybe he's four. I don't even remember now. <laughs> I don't know how they're... I remember their names. And I know one's really taller and then the little one is not. So there we go. I'm on track for being a grandma. Okay, so thank you for joining me. And if you're watching this on YouTube on a replay, this is from my Facebook Live at Kathy Bohan and Creatively Blessed, the same um, name as my YouTube channel. So if you're on Facebook and you're seeing this as a replay, go over there and like my page and you'll get to see all the updates. I can't believe this is our fifth one. I mean, how many Mondays are there in July? Because I just started in July, y'all. Okay, so our projects tonight appear to be Christmas related. However, you are going to be able to change these in whatever way, whatever way you want to. Um, actually, I need to post... Don't I? I need to post that I'm live. Come on now. I always have trouble with this part. Just a minute. Can y'all share? I'm trying to share. Please hold. Oh, my word. Oh, there we go. Hello. Um, poo. I can't share it anyway. Hmm. Okay, so here's what we'll do. I'm just going to get started because um, y'all are super sweet to be here and I don't want to keep you waiting. Okay, so this first project I want to talk about, Angela has seen close up mm -hmm. because Angela's my special friend and she comes to craft with me like in person. Yeah, like real people sitting there crafting. Okay, so this is something fabulous, right? And on the inside is this. There's a little pocket here. Um, some people would use this for receipts, but I call receipts evidence. You know, like exhibit A, exhibit B. Mm -hmm. Judge, I have no idea where I was, but I have evidence. <laughs> okay, so that's a little pocket. And let me tell you this. Um, I had to cut this down. This was one of those dollar pads at, um, hey Tammy, this is one of those dollar pads like at Miguel's, that um, that other guy, Miguel. Anyway, I bought that this a, years ago, and you can still get them. They're a little longer, so as you can see, it's just a little shabby right there. Hey Janice! So what I did, I used double stick tape on the back of this. And I've got just a little bit of Velcro, all right? And this thing is great for hiding double chins. Watch. It 
it's magic. <laughs> okay, so anyway, I am going to show you how to make one of these. They're super simple, and oh, of course, I meant to bring over the catalog with the part number, the thing number, anyway, but I didn't, so I will post it below, maybe, if I remember. <laughs> anyway, I'll show, you, I'll show you in a minute. So remember, if you get drunk easy, don't watch right now, because I'm going to move you up, okay? Here we go. And let me turn you around. There we go. I've already measured, and we should be... We should be in. There we go. See, there y'all are. I'm grabbing my catalog. Y'all know I gotta forget things, right? Here we go. I don't know if I have a song for y'all tonight. I may not, which will probably relieve many of you. Okay, so this is plain and simply one of these little cases, all right? They are our stamp cases. They come like this when you buy stamps. Well, lo and behold, you can get these blank like this. I'm pretty sure you get four. Now, here, here's the thing. You're probably going, what do I need this for? Oh my goodness. All right, I'll tell you what you need them for. Um, you need them for everything from teacher's gifts to, I'm going to use the one we're making tonight. I'm going to put that in my, um, hold on, cases. Okay. Oh, poo. They don't call them cases. Um, anybody that's got your catalog there, help me out here. I should have done this. On, here we go. Stamp cases. Page 182. False alarm. I've got it. Right here. Okay. So this, hello whoever's joined me, I'm so sorry, my, my iPad is not telling me who's here. There you are. Um, it's just not showing me any, oh, wait, there we go. Janice, Tammy, Angela, Pinky, okay, yay. All right, so these are the stamp cases. And what you want to know here is the full wide is this big thick one. The half wide is this little this little one because it's half and then the standard which is this size is this case and I got let's see there are four cases for six dollars okay so just over a dollar I mean please that is such a good deal all right because a couple of things I don't know if my friend Heather is on yet, but I'll show you what you can do. Like this was um, some notes for a Bible study that I was doing really quick. And uh, apparently it was in Isaiah. And we talked about Jewish Christians being persecuted. That was sad. And then Hebrews 3, where Moses said the he was called the lawgiver by the Jewish people. How about that? So y'all are going to learn things. And then here comes Yom Kippur. I don't even know because I don't remember that part. Okay, um, so anyway, there we go. Um, but Isaiah is saying to repent and trust. And I don't, I mean, you'd have to read it. Believe me, it's there. Okay, all right, so my, <laughs> that noise behind me is my squeaking chair. I don't know why it squeaks. Okay, so I'm not trying to sell 31, but I want y'all to see my amazing purse. Is this not gorgeous? This has a relevance to what we're talking about. Okay, there we go. All right, so I love nautical stuff. Y'all know that. So anyway, you take this thing and you just shove it in the back of your purse like this and you make your notes. I mean, I'm what I'm trying to show you is it fits. Now, I got stuff down in this pocket, but look at that. It just fits in any purse, I would think. Oh, let me, <laughs> I got to take it back out. Okay, so what I did with this one, um, I've cut my this is not stamped this is old like i've had it a long time but i cut my paper a certain measurement and i'll tell you what that is in a minute and then i just put a strip of solid colored paper here with some punched um cardstock in the background so it kind of gives it a frilly edge and then i just 
stamp these and like I said it's an old set that I probably had this thing heavens did I even date it no 700 BC that's how long I've had it y'all 700 BC if there's anything y'all want to know about that time and era you just you just ask me I might have forgotten forgotten most of it because it's a long time ago but anyway so <laughs> back in 700 BC I made this and 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 let's see Okay, making sure you don't have any questions. And I had some doodly-doos that I put on here. And I still have some of these doodly-doos. So that just says I'm a pack rat. But okay. So the reason I said this is about Christmas. Because what I made tonight was Christmas related. Alright, so I took a piece of designer series paper. It's thinner than cardstock. You do want that. And here is our... Royal Peacock cardstock, and I, I mean, designer series paper. I started to do this, but then I was like, wait a minute, because the back of it's white. And if y'all recall, when I opened this, we've got something pretty on the background, right? It's actually this paper plus a strip of that paper. So, you know, it's kind of like, let's have something pretty on the inside. So, I ditched this. Okay. So, I'm using these cute little Santas. This is also a retired print. I don't have any current Christmas designer series paper. But I can tell, excuse me, I can tell you we got some fabulous coming. Okay. This is the side that I'm not in love with. Um, but I'll tell you this. It's 10 and 3 eighths by 6. Excuse me, I got the hiccups apparently. I did ask Ninja Man for some water, but um, he's outside, so I ain't getting it. Okay, 10 and 3 eighths by 6 and 7 eighths. That's how big this is. Okay, so I'm going to take this strip, which is also 10 and 3 eighths by however much this is. <laughs> I'll tell you. I mean, really and truly, this was just a scrap, but it measures 5 and 1 eighth if you wanted to do it this way. So I can either have this uh, strip up here and down here, or I could do it like this, which I'm kind of inclined to do that. I think so. All right, so what we're gonna do, um, now what, okay, what I did, I didn't score it, I just pulled this plastic, you see how it, it comes out like this? I just pulled it up and I stuck my paper in there and got it all in there. Now this is open on the top and the bottom. Okay. So basically I just put my paper in there, scooched it. Y'all, y'all know here in Georgia, we scooch, right? Okay. Hey Robin, 700 BC. That's right, Angela. I mean, you know, just, just ask me anything. I might forget that. Okay. And then I closed it on it and then I kind of went pinch and pinch. Okay. Because I really just didn't want to do the intricate measurements for, um, for figuring that out. So then when I get it to this point, I'm going to lay it down on its, on its edge here. Right here. Did I say lay it down on its edge? Y'all know what I mean. Fold it on the crease. That's almost like laying it down on its edge. All right, and then I'm going to make sure this is even because if it's not, it's going to be all whoppy and weird. We can't have that. Okay, so there we go. We've got our little, our little thing, right? Okay. All right, let's see. Now, we're going to put this guy in here. And you see where I wrote that? I can still cover it up, you know. And I'm not even going to bother with creasing this because... Well, maybe I will. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens, y'all. Okay, I'm going to use the um, Tombow liquid glue, which, you know, like I told y'all before, and I mean, I want y'all to always know that you can get this cheaper at the big store. Okay. I'm just saying, I don't want you to buy it and then later on go, why didn't you tell me I could get that cheaper? I want to be real with y'all. That is the best kind of Stampin' Up! demonstrator you can ask for, right? Is a real one. Hey Robin, are you back home from that amazing trip or are you still up there? Because if you're still up there, 
You are so sweet to be watching. Well, you're sweet to watch anyway, but I'm just saying. Robin went on a horse and buggy ride. I think she was in Gatlinburg and with her sister. I would love to do something like that with my sister. Okay, so here we go. Now, I'm going to look and make sure my pattern's going this way because we don't want Santa Claus on his head. I think he's probably not willing to hang out on his head, right? And I'm just going to, and by the way, y'all, I heard that, you know, some people don't believe in Santa Claus. Well, fooey on them. Okay, going to, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and crease this like this. Just a gentle crease. And crease this one like this. And I don't know why I've got just a itty bitty bit showing, but I have the, hang on, I'm trying to see the comments. Come on, iPad, what is, you know what, I let my grandkids play on my iPad, it's just not been the same since. There we go. Hey, Heather, I just showed them how this will fit in my 31 bag. Um, anyway. I'm just going to trim this off because I have what? The power and the technology. How about that? Power and technology. And the experience, right? So I'm just going to trim this off. I don't know why it's a little bit bigger than the outside. And okay, what I want y'all to be thinking, first of all, as um, Heather, Angela, others know, I shop all year for Christmas. I do. So I'm going to be putting this in my purse, and I'm going to be using it for my Christmas shopping because I've already gotten some of my gifts. How cute is this? Is that just adorable? Look how easy it is. Um, yes, we had so much fun Chattanooga. We went ziplining. Robin, you went ziplining. Oh, my goodness gracious. Um... Anyway, it, it's just so stinking cute. And I can embellish it however I want, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put me another pad in here. And I'm going to put me a little pin in here like this one. Heather, you've seen this one a gazillion times. I'm going to put me another um, pad in here. This is with double-sided tape. This is You can't just glue onto this kind of stuff. you got to get real. And I'll show you. Um, can you see down in there? Like you're gonna, like you're gonna be like, no, I can't see. Anyway, you can barely tell I've used double-sided tape. Um, I did try some glue before and it didn't hold. So we're all about, oh, hey, Karen. Hey, hey, is the Santa paper still available? This is not, but we've got, we've got some really cute Santa paper coming. And, um, I will be sending out catalogs. And Angela, get with me on that because, um, I can... I can uh, share some information on that with you. Okay, but anyway, for those of you joining late, I bought this pad, <clears throat> excuse me, I bought this pad at Miguel's, you know, that other place, and I cut it down. I've had this for a very long time. I've had it since 700 BC. I dated it. Okay, and then I put, <laughs> then I put a little bit of Velcro there and a little bit of Velcro here. This happens to be one of my favorite pins ever. I like a fine point pen. And then I put a little pocket here for evidence or receipts. And then I just doctored the front. This one, I will put a pad here. And then I'm going to put the names and their sizes and things like that. Because I shop all year. And I don't want to have to spend a few hundred dollars at Christmas when we're trying to enjoy our Hallmark Christmas movies and all that kind of stuff. I want it all done. And I don't want to deal. I just want to inbox is in my closet. And that's how I do every year. And then, you know, I just don't have all that money going out at once. So I'll have my list with the kids' sizes and all that stuff. And will I keep receipts? I don't think so. No. I don't think I'll keep receipts, y'all. But I will put me a little pin here and do all of that. And I'll probably put a strip here. Like this has um, all this detail here. I'll probably put something cute there because I love cute, right? Isn't that just adorable? And again, you can get these, um, where did I say page one? Oh, see, y'all, I got to look it up again. I think it was page 180 something K. 
cases. 182. Look at that, y'all. I remembered. 182. Here they are. You get four for six dollars. The item number is 119105 for this size. And this is our standard. Um, yes, Heather, I love cute too. Um, this is our standard size. Now, yes, this is Christmas. Yes, this is vintage. If you don't like either one of those, that's okay. You can use this paper, well, any paper with this little um, case for anything whatsoever. If you need to bribe, I mean, if you need to, you know, let teachers know how much you admire them for their service, <laughs> well, then you make some for teachers, right? I mean, most of us have grandkids or we might know teachers or whatever. You could, we love to knit and crochet and do all kinds of, um, do all kinds of needlework stuff. You could make a needlework theme and I've got a book over there that I use to write down the projects that I've made and projects that I see that I want to make and things like that. This would be a great way to do that. And like I said, you just, you poke it in your purse, boom, and it's in there. And I did do that earlier. I just went poke like that, but I've got stuff in this pocket, so don't be too impressed. Okay. Um, I did show them the whole purse, Heather, too. And, and I think I heard applause. I mean, I know it's Facebook Live and I'm not supposed to hear what y'all are doing, but I did hear applause. Okay, so different themes, all right? Now, let's go on to the next thing. I just want, this'll be just a little commercial because I want y'all to see something adorable. Angela's already seen it. This, is that not the cutest? Now, I showed y'all these before okay the big one and then I made a smaller one the this one holds this size card which is an A2 it's a typical size card this one holds little three by threes I mean I know I know y'all they're so stinking cute here's the envelopes and envelopes are like this and this is just show and tell at this point we're not gonna make this tonight but I want y'all to see what you can make. Because this is all paper. I um, stamped these envelopes. And thank you, Heather. Thank you, Robin. And there we go. There's our little envelopes. And if you have to bribe, bri I mean, impress a teacher for any reason, you know, this is a great way to do it. And this is the little 3x3 three three card, you know, that I told y'all about before. It is... Six, inch, six inches this way, three inches this way, and on an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, you're gonna get like three cards. You know, one piece of card stock, you get three cards. And you just doodle it up, okay? Doodle it. I did not stamp, the only thing I stamped was this, hello, hello, right here. <laughs> Those little cards are great to put with a gift. Yes, they are. And I love this. This is an old punch. And the reason I'm showing you that it's current paper and old punch. The reason I'm showing you the old punch is because this is this is why I'm in Stampin' Up. This little punch is so stinking cute. And all I had to do was cut out a little hello and, <laughs> and glue it down in there. I have a grandchild that wanted to pull it out. And I'm like, stop. Okay. So then I used... Um, I used my stitched stitched circles. You do have that punch, Heather. That's right. And isn't it the cutest thing? I used my stitched circles and I cut out the background circle. And then I cut that one again with the inside circle. So I had a frame. Does that make sense? So I had a I had a solid piece of gray cardstock and I put one die here without the bird just one die here and then one die there on ju just the gray card stock ran it through the die cutting um Sizzix big shot and it gave me a frame all right so i used the solid green in the background stuck his tail that way because you know birds they're always getting into something he's got all his tail stuff and i had cut him out of 
the designer series paper. You see, he's he looks like he's friends with them. That's because he is. They all came together. Okay, and I just cut them out. I mean, you know, it's not you don't have to cut out the itty bitty birdie feet. You can just cut them out like that, and they're fine. Okay, and anyway, that's how I did that. And just a piece of ribbon and the itty bitty birdie feet paper right here. Okay, and then here's the thing about this. We have alcohol markers at Stampin' Up, and I, I'm y'all know I'm I'm an honest Stampin' Up demonstrator. I am your independent Stampin' Up demonstrator, but I'm also honest. I want you to know why I do not have these markers. I have some because I received them at on stage and different events, but I haven't ordered them because long before Stampin' Up started with um, alcohol markers. I had started investing in Copics. Copic is also an alcohol marker. Now, Stampin' Up! has an advantage over me right now because their team actually colored, the artists actually colored all of these in Stampin', Stampin Up! alcohol markers. And I'm really impressed because they did that and then the people who do have those markers are able to duplicate this same exact color with their inks because it's all about coordination, right? Well, I don't have those exact colors because I've invested in the um, I've invested in the Copics, and I, you know, I just can't vary from that now, even though I want all the things. And I'm looking for their markers now. I'm sorry I didn't mark these. Huh, Mark? Huh? 160, 180 and 181. Let's see what we get there. 180. Look how fast I am. Are y'all impressed? Oh, poop. Wait a minute. Don't be impressed yet. Wait, I haven't asked. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. This is, yeah, now you can be impressed. 162. <laughs> oh, look at that set. Isn't that cute? Father's Day. Well, I mean Father's Day. That was, what, June? Um, but look at all the men's stuff. You could do one of these, one of these things right here for a man and use stuff like this. So he can write down all this stuff. Okay, markers. Come on now. Well, I mean, it's showing us most of the... It's fine. We'll just do this. Anyway. Um, Stampin' Blends is what they're called. And they're these guys here. And they're all in the current Stampin' Up! colors. Which is really fabulous. Okay. Um... Still looking for the whole page on them. I'm not seeing it right away. Ah, look a here. Found it. Okay. So these are Stampin' Blends. They have a brush tip, and then they have a... What what tip? Uh, dark shade, light shade. That's not what I'm asking for. You know the two different tips. One's kind of a brush, and one's more fine. Um, okay, so each color has a, a light, shade and a dark shade okay and for some I don't know I don't even know what combo means I guess like if you buy them both I don't know but anyway you can get the light cherry cobbler and the dark cherry cobbler so that it will complement one another and it blends really well and yes Copics work the same way Copics are more expensive and these will coordinate with your Stampin' Up! inks so I do recommend these at this point um I didn't for a long time, but I do now. They've, um, let's see, Robin got to go packing. <gasps> You're moving Wednesday. Ah, oh, Robin, that's awesome. Congrats. We'll see you later. Um, wow, that was fast, Robin. Okay, sorry, y'all. I'm excited for Robin. She's, she's just got a wonderful place. So, anyway, the markers. And they all coordinate here. Okay, so I just, that was a little show and tell. And talk about those markers. And there you go. Is that not just the sweetest little gift? Okay. Here's what we're going to make. Since we've already made our little note card holder, we are now, this is old. I made it a long time ago, and we're not going to make exactly this. This was, this little envelope bag, whatever, was a die from Stampin' Up! And it cuts the edge like this over here and a taller edge on the back so it's a little fancier than what I'm about to do and again I'm going with a Christmas theme and the only reason being is that's what I have 
like up front, okay? And I just went ahead and made it Christmas. But you see, you can make this spring, you can make a fall something, you can make any theme you want whatsoever. You can make it vintage, if whatever you want to do. Okay, but what is this, all right? There's a magnet right here, and there's cardstock here and here. This little guy right here, I, I buy these at Joanne. I can't tell you what time of year they have them. Um, but they're just cute little clippy board things. This one has um, sticky on it. So, you know, we love to use that for masking and stuff. So it's cheaper than a sticky note. I really think these are like a dollar. Okay. So what I did, I'm going to put this guy back in here. And we're just going to create the next one. Okay. See how he fits down in? Isn't that a sweet little gift? I mean, really. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. So... What we're going to do, we're going to create a Christmas-themed little bag, okay? And I took the magnet off the back. It did. It was not pretty. It was just a little bit violent. It was a little sad for this thing. But hey, you do what you got to do, right? Okay, but don't worry about that part. Okay, so this right here, as you see, I've got a little couple of little things here. I did not use any dies or anything. I just cut this just out of the goodness of my heart, y'all. So we'll see how good I did. All right, so we are going to go. I'm loving all of these gift ideas. Yes, Christmas in July. Yes, yes. Angela, you see, I mean, and Heather, your, um, your HOTMs, this might be a good little thing for them. So this piece here is eight inches from here to here, and from here across the whole bottom is going to be five inches, all right? And you're going to score it. Y'all know what scoring is, right? It's, this, it's making a crease, and you can score with one of these, or you can score with your, um, like my Stampin' Trimmer, which we don't sell these anymore, y'all. I'm sorry to show you so much retired stuff, but we're, we're going to do better. Anyway, I've got some right over there for next week. Y'all are going to love it. It's so cute. Let me just say this. Cows. Okay, so this is, and now that I've said cows, I'll probably come up with something else. So don't hold, you know, don't hold your breath for cows. But it should happen. Okay, so this is my scoring blade. And all it does, like, this one cuts and this one scores. Most trimmers come with those two blades. All right, so we're going to score at two and a half. And then again, it looks like five and seven eighths. All right, now do you have to be that particular? I kind of think so, kind of think so. So um, let's see if that's, well, you could, yeah, yeah, let's do that. So it's two and a half, no, no, two and a quarter. Stop, hold the presses, two and a quarter by five and seven eighths. I actually wrote it down over there. <laughs> Okay, so what we had, this was a whole piece here, and I folded this, and I folded that, and and I folded the whole edge down here, Then I took my scissors, and I went clip, and I clipped it at an angle so that it folds neatly. This one I got a little crazy with, as you can see, and then I went cut, 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 and then I cut here and cut there, like that. So it's going to look like that. Then I cut down at the top. And I just want to fold this over just to add a little color to this top. Okay. I hope everybody got that. If you have any questions, go ahead and post them. I'm checking now and then. Okay. All right. I'm going to use my snail adhesive and I'm going to go along this top flap here and pin it down. Boom. Okay. And then I'm going to close this one and close this one and then I'm going to close that up against it. All right. I know it'll fit because I've already measured it. So, you know, typically I make major boo-boos. But this time I think, I kind of think, sort of maybe, that I know what I'm doing. We shall see if the whole thing blows up. Now, this this um, snail adhesive is strong enough to hold this. Okay? It's not going to get a ton of wear. You know, um, if, it, if it were... If it were something that needed um, stronger this and that, I would use the um, double-sided um, T 
tape that is over there, I think. Did I leave it? I don't even know where I put it, y'all. I know you're surprised. What? Have you lost something? Yeah, okay. Well, it's, it's just not in front of me. Okay, so here we go. We've got our cute little bag, but what are we going to put on it? Oh, I know. I know. Mm, where to put it? Where? Oh, here it is. Okay, I'm not crazy about this, I will be honest with you, but I don't want to put him on here twice, so I'm just going to do this because some people like, you know, it's like an off um, eggshell color, um, which I like that, but I guess the stripes, I don't know. I don't know. So I'm going to put him, oh, how did I get him? I cut him out with the stitched shapes uh, dies and I'll show you I use this size which yeah there's not a size on it it says A on it but maybe they all do I cut that out with that one okay and and with these you do need to know which size you're going to use which side you're going to use before you run it through your die cutting machine because here's my scary dental tool <laughs> Um, it's not the missing one. I still haven't found that. I don't know why that thing keeps running away from me. Anyway, you see how the holes are maybe, I don't know if you can see how the holes go, go down. I'm holding it to see if you can see. All right, you see how they go down like this? As opposed to kind of poked up. Poked. Is that a southern word? It's all poked up right over here. It's just poked. Right there in his beard. You see it right there? It's it's poked. Okay. Well, this would be the correct side because it looks finished. All right. So enough about pokes and sides. All right. We're going to put this here. This is our little Santa man. And I just, I think it needs to go this way, y'all. I could be wrong, but I think it needs to go like that. Look at him with his little chimney and his little teddy bear. I know y'all want this paper and I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, and then we're going to use our Stampin' Dimensionals. Y'all, I'm remembering the words tonight. One would think I know what I'm doing. Dang Skippy. My, my mother-in-law, before she passed away, because she doesn't say anything anymore because she, she's passed. <clears throat> anyway, she was the funniest person. I loved her to death. She, um... She would say, shoot a monkey. I don't even know what that means. I think she was trying hard not to say an ugly word. So we're just going to stick him right here. I don't care where you're from. That right there is cute. Isn't that cute? Okay, and he's got little presents here, and he's got little presents inside. Oh, see, I don't like that little edge there. So guess what? Yeah, we're going to do that. We are. I'm just like trimming, trimming tonight. Okay. And really, when I started out and told y'all about my um, yay for dimensionals, yes. I'm loving the fact that I remembered it. Um, oh, I forgot to tell you. So I used that one for that. And then I used this one, which also has an A on it. So see, I mean, they all got the same exact number. So I can't really tell you which goes where. But this is how I did that. And you know, earlier when I was telling you about, this is a good example. Please hold. Okay, when I was telling you how I did this, okay, this is a great example. I put, oops, all right, I put that one down, and I got this outside edge, but before I cut, I added this one, okay? So what I was left with is this part here. It cut that out. And it left this. And that's what you see right here. So I made a frame. Is that not, I would say, is that not genius? I mean, it kind of is, but <laughs> I didn't design that. The people designed it. The people. The people. Okay. Let me get these little cards out of here because I'll start showing them to you again. Because, you know. Oh, did I tell y'all I volunteered today? I'm just like channeling my inner good person. It's like I'm an old person trying to get to heaven. Okay. I volunteered today. I had a very busy day. I even got Ninja Man involved. 
Okay, so here we go. We're going to put all of this onto here. This is our little pad that's going to go in here. Okay, how cute is this? But we're not done because we got to do something to make it easy to pull in and out. Let me make sure I cut that right. I did. Y'all, I'm just so impressed. Okay. All right. So here we go. I'm going to, all right. We're going to use this glue here. You could use double-sided tape. Um, I would not recommend using snail adhesive or the um, permanent adhesive that comes in these things. Would not recommend that. I recommend something with a little more meat to it. A little more teeth. Teeths. Teeths. And then you can slide it just a wee bit, you know, to make sure you put it where you want it. And if you want to get all fancy with your bad self, you can do something fancy here with um, with any kind of, of those. You remember those old scissors we had back in the day? Yeah, they'll always be pop dots to me. Me too, Heather. That's one thing I, I have trouble with. That's why I can't call them the right name. Because I, I call very few things by the right name. Like my car is the sneak mobile. I could not... The other night I was trying to remember what kind of car do I have. And all I could remember was a sneak mobile. It's a true story. It's a um, GMC Safari. No. <laughs> it's not a Safari. Yes, it is. It's a GMC Safari. I think. I have no... Okay, I'm back to not knowing what kind of car I drive. All of a sudden, without any, without any warning. Suddenly and with no warning. All right, so I kind of want to cut this down a little bit. Because it, it got a little crazy. I might have had it just a wee bit high. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Mm. All right. Did not work that way. We're going to go, oh, we're going to go rogue. Y'all, I have not, oh dear. Oh, oh. Stop me. Okay, there it goes. Oh, okay, I know it's not even. Who, who cares? All right, there. I kind of care, but it's okay. I'm going to get past it. I'm going to go on with my life. Okay. All right. Here we go. Now, this one I could use snail adhesive if I wanted, but I'm already on a roll. So I'm going to do this. All right. And then... Because this is the guy that's going to stand up loud and proud. And I'm just lining up the bottom here. And looking left and right over here to see if it's where I want it. And here we go. I'm going to just do this. Now, hold just a minute because I want to show you something cute. Um, just now deciding we need... We need a little floofly on it. A little floof. I don't even know if this will match, but we'll see. Nah, it doesn't match at all. But we're, we're going to use it anyway. I mean, that's really... Well, I guess it's okay right there. What do y'all think? Right there? Yeah. Yeah, I think we'll do that. We've got every little fancy scissor they sell. That's what I'm saying. Yes. Yes, Karen, you can use those to go around this edge or go around this edge. Um, but Stampin' Up! is coming up with some really cute stuff for, for, um, Christmas. So you can, y'all can wait and see what all. I'm just going to put a, okay, I started to just punch. But now I realize this is the center. So I'm going to take my old-fashioned school punch and go right through it. Okay? Then I'm going to take this much. And I'm just going to put it through here. I do like a fancy edge. I think I'm kind of paper crafting snobby like that. Okay, there we go. So I'm just going to put it like this. Maybe, let's see, there we go. All right, and then I'm going to put him in here. And then I'm going to say, Hey, teacher, my grandchild is in your class, which isn't true because my grandkids are homeschooled. But I could say, hey, teacher, my grandkid is in your class, and I'm really excited that you're his teacher because everybody wants you. And and here, here's a gift. Um, 
Hope he never gets in trouble. <laughs> Toodles. Yeah, that's how that works. That is how that works. Yes, presentation is everything. Isn't that sweet? And when you, if you go to Joanne and buy these cute little things here, um, which by the way, I do want to trim it down just a little bit because it was a little snuggalicious. Snuggalicious. That is an official term. But if you do go and find these at Joanne, I don't really know when, you know, like are they a seasonal thing or what? Because they're not, they're not Christmas. You see, they're just whatever. Um, matter of fact, I've got some with flowers on them, some with geometrics, which I'm not really a fan of geometrics. But anyway, if you go, just be thinking, how can I use that? You know, and if you don't know, then just go ahead and buy them. Because <laughs> you will come up with something. So there we go. There's a sweet little gift. I think I would go with a red ribbon here. And, oh, 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 please look at this. I didn't put this guy on. Let's put him on. He's still got a little sticky. See? Still a little. I almost forgot this little guy that I ripped off the back. There we go. And now... I'm I am so sorry. I hope you're still there. I just... I hope you're still there. I just had a call. I told it to um, ignore all calls. But that was my child, so it did not ignore that call. Okay, I will call him right back. So now, not only does she have a cute little gift in case your little Boudreau gets in trouble in school and, and you're hoping that you bribed, you provided her with a really nice gift, um, she can also put it somewhere because it's got a magnet. And she can she can hide candy bars in this or fruit and nuts organic of course um you know anything like that <laughs> okay so if y'all have any questions just let me know we're gonna finish up early tonight um i hope 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 that this encouraged you and inspired you and i hope that i hope that um you too will make you can find similar little clipboards like those at the dollar store. Yay, Janice. Sweet. Okay. There you go, y'all. The dollar store. And you know what that means? They're a dollar. Mm -hmm. Oh, so <laughs> my friend Angela, it was so funny the other day we were talking about all these things. And then she said, so I was just wondering, there's this woman at the dollar store doing a return. And I have been pondering that all week. A woman did a return at the dollar store. <laughs> Is that not funny? Okay. Here's my July host code right here. If you need to order, go here. Use the July host code. Just, just do that. I'm sorry. There's that call again. Apparently, it's important. I'm sorry. I don't know if that came through, but there's a call again. It must be important. Love you guys. Thank you for visiting. I hope this inspired you. Toodles.